In this video, we're going to take a look at a couple of the best video recorders for using your Chromebook. Hi, everybody. I'm Ryan Horn. You can find my blog at ryanstechtips.com, where we feature videos and tips like this and so much more. Again, that's ryanstechtips.com. So as we talk about a webcam video recorder on a Chromebook, first of all, before we look at the products, let's talk about why it would be useful to use your webcam uh, as a video recorder. From the teacher perspective, so as a teacher, I might get sick of explaining the same direct instruction over and over and repeating that to my students. Instead, how about I record my direct instruction using a webcam video recorder and then the students can have access to it 24 hours a day, seven days a week if I post that video on something like Google Classroom or a classroom website. The kids can rewatch, rewind, and pause that video as much as they need to to go over the direct instruction and also, being a teacher, sub plans, I hate them. And it makes it so much easier if I want to record myself and give a message or instruction to the students, give that to the sub, make my life easier. From the student perspective, a couple different options for using a webcam video recorder. Maybe the project was the students had to create something. What the students could do is create their presentation, then video the presentation, video themselves talking about it. Um, another use for students is, especially if you're a foreign language teacher, you can have that verbal recording of your students talking to the webcam and see how they did. Also, it's really, really good tool for an alternative to written expression. Now, look, I know who it is. I have a lot of students that are really, really bright, but they might struggle when it comes to responding to a question uh, with their written expression. But if I ask them that same question verbally, they might be able to respond in a completely different way. So this gives students an option, instead of asking them to write or to type, to record themselves and get the response that way. Well, now that we know why using a webcam might be important sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes, let's take a look at how we're gonna score and rate these two tools I'm gonna to show you today. And I want you to keep this in mind as you're looking at all of those free and paid tools out there, especially when working with kids. Have to have something to fall back on and see if that's something you'd really want to use. Number one, is it easy to use, right? For every extra click it takes the students to use an app or a site, all those extra clicks each provide another opportunity for the students to mess up, get frustrated, and have to start over. So less clicks is better, simpler is better. And number two, is it free? Do we have to pay for certain things? I'm an educator, I like free. Take a look at the first tool today. It's called the School Video Recorder. I'm gonna show you this one. This is probably the easiest tool to use. So you can, install an app in Google Chrome for the school video recorder. But what I like to do is just give the kids this website. Give them this link in Google Classroom. When the kids go to this website, here's what it looks like. It prompts them to choose a file name for their video before they even begin. So I'm gonna call this one my sample video and press submit. Then the kids can see before they start recording what they look like. Okay, and then they can press looks good and when they're ready, they can press start recording. Gives you a little countdown. Hi everybody, I'm Ryan and I'm introducing and showing you the school video recorder for Google Drive. When you're done, you can press stop and upload. It usually uploads really quickly because it does all the rendering as it's recording. And look at this, it's already been uploaded to Google Drive, nothing else to do. Makes it so easy really easy for kids to use. I recommend this for second, third, fourth, fifth grade students, anybody, but especially for those younger kids. Let's take a look at the second tool, Screencastify. So Screencastify is a free tool. Now there's a paid version, but we're gonna look at the free tool called Screencastify Lite. It's actually an extension in Google Chrome. So you can go here or you can look for the extension in the Google Chrome Web Store. I'm using Screencastify right now. Screencastify can record up to 10 minutes of length. It does automatically save in Google Drive, which is nice. And what's also nice is there's the screencasting option. So the kids could record their screen as well as recording themselves. Maybe they want to do a voiceover. They made a slideshow and they want to do a voiceover. They're going to use Screencastify. Maybe they want to show something on their screen as they talk about it. Um, they're going to use Screencastify. 
but Screencastify has more clicks. Um, it's a little bit harder to install and kids can still use it, but I would say Screencastify is easier for that fifth, sixth and up for those type of grades. That's Screencastify. So we looked at two tools today, School Video Recorder for a Google Drive and Screencastify. Thanks so much. Again, I'm Ryan, and you can find my blog at ryanstechtips.com.